Hello friends, today our topic of discussion is solar energy in India produced by Dayrise Solar Channel. First of all I would request you all to like, share and subscribe this channel to get more tips and tricks about solar energy solar panels and solar power plants in India. Solar energy in India. India being densely populated and having excessive solar insulation, offers a really perfect mixture for solar energy in India. Much of the nation doesn't have grid, so one of the primary purposes of solar energy has been for water pumping, to start changing India's 4 to 5 million diesel powered water pumps, average consumption near about 3 to 5 kilowatts, and off-grid lighting. Some giant initiatives have been proposed, and a 35,000 square kilometers space of the Thar Desert has been put aside for solar power projects, adequate to generate 700 to 2,100 gigawatts. Solar energy in India is a fast developing industry. The country's solar installed capacity reached 23 gigawatts as of the 30th of June 2018. India expanded its solar generation capacity eight times from 2,650 megawatts on the 26th of May 2014 to over 20 gigawatts as on the 31st of January 2018. The 20 gigawatts capacity was initially targeted for 2022, but the government achieved the target four years ahead of schedule. The country added 3 gigawatts of solar capacity in 2015 to 2016, 5 gigawatts in 2016 to 2017 and over 10 gigawatts in 2017 to 2018, with the average current price of solar electricity dropping to 18% below the average price of its coal-fired counterpart. In July 2009, India unveiled a $19 billion plan to provide 20 gigawatts of solar power by 2020. Under the plan, solar-powered gear and installation of solar power plant could become necessary in all residential plots measuring more than 500 square yards, all private schools, colleges, training institutions, vocational institutes, NGOs, NPOs government authorities buildings together with hospitals and resorts. The 18th of November 2009, it was reported that India is able to launch its solar mission underneath the National Action Plan on Climate Change, with plans to generate 1000 megawatts of power by 2013. Presently the nation has been assigned target to achieve 100 gigawatts solar power by 2022. Availability of solar energy in India. With about 300 clear sunny days in annually, India's theoretical solar power reception, simply on its land space is about 5 pwh, year. The everyday common solar energy incident over India varies from 4 to 7 kilowatt hours, M2 with about 2300 to 3200 sunshine hours per year, relying upon location. This is excess of present complete energy consumption. For instance, even assuming 10% conversion effectivity for PV modules, it should nonetheless be thousand instances better than the doubtless electricity demand in India by the year 2015. Present state of deployment versus claims for solar energy in India. The quantity of solar energy produced in India is merely 0.4% in comparison with other energy assets. The grid interactive solar power as of June 2007 was merely 2.12 megawatts. Government funded solar energy in India solely accounted for roughly 6 0.4 megawatt years of power as of 2005. However, as of October 2009, India is at present ranked first and foremost together with the United States in phrases of potential solar power generation capability. In January 2015 the Indian government expanded its solar plans targeting 100 billion US dollars in investment and 100 gigawatts of solar capacity, including 40 gigawatts from rooftop solar. By 2022, India's initiative of 100 gigawatts of solar energy by 2022 is an ambitious target, since the world's installed solar power capacity in 2017 is expected to be 303 gigawatts. The improvements in solar thermal storage power technology in recent years has made this task achievable as the cheaper solar power need not depend on costly and polluting coal, gas, nuclear-based power generation for ensuring stable grid operation. In January 2016, 
Prime Minister Narendra Modi and French President François Hollande laid the foundation stone for the headquarters of the International Solar Alliance ISA, in Gwilpahari, Gagan. The ISA will focus on promoting and developing solar energy and solar products for countries lying wholly or partially between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. The alliance of over 120 countries was announced at the Paris COP21 Climate Summit. One hope of the ISA is that wider deployment will reduce production and development costs facilitating the increased deployment of solar technologies to poor and remote regions. Solar energy in India is still pricey and unaffordable. Solar energy is at present prohibitive as a result of excessive preliminary prices of deployment. To spawn a thriving solar market, the expertise must be competitively cheaper, that is attaining value parity with fossil or nuclear energy. India is closely depending on coal and international oil, a phenomenon prone to proceed till non Fossil, renewable energy expertise turns into economically viable in the nation. The value of manufacturing ranges from rupees 15 to rupees 30 per unit in comparison with rupees 2 to rupees 6 per unit for typical thermal energy. Government commitment for development of solar energy in India. In addition to its large scale grid connected solar PV initiative, India is developing off-grid solar power for local energy needs. Solar products have increasingly helped to meet rural needs. By the end of 2015 just under 1 million solar lanterns were sold in the country, reducing the need for kerosene. That year, 118,700 solar home lighting systems were installed and 46,655 solar street lighting installations were provided under a national program. Just over 1.4 million solar cookers were distributed in India. The Ministry of New and Renewable Energy MNRE, have initiated schemes and incentives, like subsidy, easy loan, concessional obligation on raw materials imports, excise obligation exemption on shore units, methods and so forth, like Europe and East Asia. Solar energy growth forecast in India In August 2016, the forecast for solar photovoltaic installations was about 4.8 gigawatts for the calendar year. About 2.8 gigawatts was installed in the first eight months of 2016, more than all 2015 solar installations. India's solar projects stood at about 21 gigawatts with about 14 gigawatts under construction and about 7 gigawatts to be auctioned. The country's solar capacity reached 19.7 gigawatts by the end of 2017, making it the third largest global solar market. In mid-2018 the Indian Energy Minister R. K. Singh flagged a tender for a 100 gigawatts solar plant at an event in Delhi, while discussing a 10 gigawatts tender due to be issued in July that year at the time, a world record. He also increased the India government's target for installed solar by 2022 to 227 gigawatts. Thar Desert for Developing Solar Energy in India In 1996 Samarco, Enron Solar Power Development, deliberate to construct a 50 megawatts solar photovoltaic plant in the Thar Desert close to Jaisma in Rajasthan state. Two other initiatives had been proposed, one a 50 megawatts photovoltaic plant and the other a 200 megawatts solar chimney. None of these have been accomplished. The Rajasthan authorities, nevertheless, has put aside a 35,000 square kilometers space of the Thar Desert for solar power. Solar Panels Manufacturing Company in India, Titan Energy Systems Limited, Hyderabad, Shah, Japan, BP Tata Three-Way Partnership, Vikram Solar, Kolkata, Mozabair, Solar Semiconductor Private in Hyderabad, AP, Green Brilliance Private, Limited, Icomtel Limited, Wari Energies Limited, Zurat, Gujarat, India, Case EK Energy Systems, Jain Irrigation Systems Limited, Jalgaon, Maharashtra, Sun Fuel Technology LLC, Sony Pet, Haryana, Solar Company in India, Solar Universe India, Success Impex Private Limited, New Delhi, Dayrise Solar Energy Private Limited, Sony Pet, Haryana, 
India, use of solar energy in India for rural electrification. Lack of electricity infrastructure is one of the principal hurdles in the event of rural India. India's grid system is significantly underdeveloped, with main sections of its populace nonetheless surviving off-grid. As of 2004 there are about 80,000 unelectrified villages in the nation. Of these villages, 18,000 couldn't be electrified by extension of the standard grid. A goal for electrifying 5,000 such villages was fastened for the 10th National 5-Year Plan. 2002 to 2007. As on 2004, more than 2,700 villages and hamlets had been electrified primarily utilizing SPV methods. Developments on low-cost solar expertise are thought of as a possible different that enables an electricity infrastructure comprising of a community of local grid clusters with distributed electricity era. That might enable bypassing, or a minimum of relieving the necessity of putting in costly, and loss, long distance centralized power supply methods and but deliver low cost electricity to the plenty. Solar energy in India as agricultural support system. Solar water pumping methods are used for irrigation and ingesting water. The majority of the pumps are fitted with a 200 to 5000 watt motor which might be powered with 1800 WPPV arrays which may ship about 140,000 liters of water day from a complete head of 10 meters. By 30th of September, 2006, a complete of 7,068 solar water pumping methods have been put in. Land shortage for solar energy in India. Per capita land availability is a scarce useful resource in India. Dedication of land space for unique installation of solar cells may need to compete with other requirements that require land. The quantity of land required for utility scale solar power crops at present roughly 1 square kilometer for each 20 to 60 megawatts generated, might pose a pressure on India's available land useful resource. Slow progress of solar energy in India While the world including China and USA has progressed considerably in manufacturing of primary silicon monocrystalline photovoltaic cells, India has fallen quick to attain the worldwide momentum. India is now in seventh place worldwide in solar photovoltaic PV, cell manufacturing and ninth place in solar thermal systems with nations like Japan, Europe, China, and the US at present ranked far forward. Globally, solar is the quickest rising supply of energy, although from a really small base, with an annual common development of 35% as seen in the course of the previous few years. How solar energy is used in India India uses solar energy like any other country in the world, by using photovoltaic to obtain electricity. On a smaller scale, individual homes also use solar energy to heat water for domestic use. Why solar energy is important in India Solar energy is important as clean energy. Since solar energy is completely natural and clean green energy, it is considered a clean energy source. It does not damage the environment or create a threat to ecosystems of our earth the way oil and some other energy sources might. It does not cause greenhouse gases, air or water pollution. Potential of solar energy in India Think tanks have estimated that India ought to undertake a coverage of growing solar power as a dominant part of the renewable energy combine. Since being a densely populated area in the sunny tropical belt, the subcontinent has the perfect mixture of each excessive solar isolation and a giant potential shopper base density. In one of the eventualities, India couldn't solely rein its long-term carbon emissions, however achieve this without compromising on its financial development potential, with renewable assets like solar turning into the spine of India's financial system by 2050. At the end of November, the country turned on the world's largest solar power plant spanning 10 km square inches Kamathi in the state of Tamil Nadu. It packs 648 megawatts of power, nearly 100 more than California's Topaz solar farm, which was previously the largest solar plant at a single location. What are the advantages of solar energy in India? Solar power is pollution free and causes no greenhouse gases to be emitted after deployment. Moreover, it is a maintenance free system which reduces dependence on foreign oil and fossil fuels. Renewable clean power that is available every day of the year, 
even on cloudy days produce some power to the extent of 25% of its capacity. Solar subsidy in India The Indian Ministry of New and Renewable Energy MNRE, has introduced a number of central financial assistance CFA, schemes to promote solar PV in India and achieve its ambitious 100 gigawatts target by 2022. The support is aimed at providing subsidies to individuals or enterprises willing to contribute to growth. Consider selecting and approaching thoroughly professional and skilled team of Dayrise Solar Energy Private Limited for assessing and analyzing new electrical load for installation of solar energy solar panel power plant system at your home, office, mall, school or industry. Contact Dayrise Solar Team every time you need to know about solar energy in India while you plan to install solar energy solar panel power plant system or buy solar panels in Sony Pate. Haryana, India. Also to get help and full procedure to avail solar subsidy in India for grid connected rooftop solar power plant, you may like to contact extremely skilled and expert group of Dayrise Solar by way of its website's products page or by email alternately for any question associated to solar energy, solar subsidy, solar power, solar products design, installation and commissioning of on-grid, off-grid rooftop ground mounted solar power plants throughout Haryana and Delhi NCR qualified skilled team of Dayrise Solar might help you in processing of subsidy utility bidirectional meter utility and processing uploading of all related documents to subsidy regulation authority discom utility thank you very much for watching this video from Dayrise Solar channel please do like Share and subscribe this channel for upcoming videos related to solar energy. Thank you. Bye bye.